It's mailbag time here on Chicago Bears Now. I am Harrison Graham, back with another Q&A for you guys, answering your questions. If your question didn't make this week's show or you didn't submit a question, you can always do so in the comment section by using hashtag Bears and asking your questions right there. So let's get started with Zachary here. If the Bears were to have this year's offensive and defensive MVPs, who do you think those players would be? Well, defense is kind of obvious, right? Khalil Mack, like, I, I think he's a legitimate defensive player of the year candidate year in and year out. Sure, last year wasn't quite up to his standards, but I expect him to bounce back. I think he's got a reasonable chance to be in the mix to win that award uh, uh, this year. So that's certainly something that could be realistic. Offense? Not so much. Uh, I mean, obviously, look, uh, if the Bears are going to get an MVP on offense, it's probably one of the quarterbacks, right? Because it's pretty much become a quarterback award. So Nick Foles, Trubisky, you know, Montgomery and Allen Robinson are poised to have big seasons, I think. But, for example, if Allen Robinson has a monster season and is in the MVP hunt, isn't one of the quarterbacks as well. Like, I don't see a, a receiver being in the MVP re race and that receiver's quarterback not being in it also. So I think offense is a long shot. Can we just get average offensive play this year from the Bears? I think we'd be excited about that. But let's focus on Khalil Mack. Will he win Defensive Player of the Year? I want you to type Y if you think the answer is yes. If you don't think so, if you think it'll be someone else, go ahead and type your N for no. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to speak it into existence. I'm going to type my Y for yes. Next up is Papa here. Uh, would the 2018 defense been as good as it was if we didn't have Khalil Mack? Guys, you know, you know, I, I, I appreciate everybody who watch my videos, who watch, submit comments, who ask questions. The answer is obviously no. Like, he was arguably the best player on defense in the NFL that year. Like, 12 and a half sacks, 10 tackles for loss, six forced fumbles. If you take that off that defense, it's not as good. Like, it's not rocket science. If you take Patrick Mahomes away from the Chiefs offense, it's not as good. Like, that's just how this works. When you take elite players off the field, that unit is going to suffer. And look, I'm not saying he was the only reason the Bears 2018 defense was dominant, but he was a big reason why they were number one in scoring defense, why they they were number three in total defense, rushing number one, takeaways number one, sacks. He was a big reason why uh, the Bears were top three in sacks in the NFL. So the answer, to put it simply, is no. The defense would not have been as good. That doesn't mean it would have been bad, but it wouldn't have been the best in the NFL, and I truly believe the Bears' 2018 defense was the best that season. Guys, if you haven't already, we're slowly trying to get there. 10,000 subs is in the horizon. I want to get there by July 4th. Can we get there? 388 away. We're approaching the 4th of July. Independence Day is around the corner. I think that's a good goal to set. Let's get to 10K by July 4th. And for those of you maybe watching for the first time, you know, wondering if you should subscribe, we do lots of different videos. We got the latest Bears rumors and news. I did a record predictions video. You can check that out. All you got to do is subscribe, turn on notifications so you never, ever miss any of our videos that go up on the channel. Do me a favor as well. Share that link below. It's in the, it's in the the description youtube.com slash bears now also make it the pinned comment make it easy on you guys you click it you subscribe makes it easy for everyone involved dilly jeps is up next here on today's bears mailbag is trey lance in the cards for the bears if trubisky has a good year could a could they trade mitch for something like a second third or fourth round pick we would tag trubisky let's get to the trubisky part of this in just a second first let's start about trey lance uh, who's quickly and fastly rising up draft boards i think he's clearly emerged himself as quarterback three behind trevor lawrence and justin fields and next year's draft if you don't know the name get to know it because the number he had last year at north or numbers he had at north dakota state last year were absurd 28 touchdowns and no interceptions passing he's a dynamic runner as well over 1,000 yards 14 touchdowns breaking news he's gonna throw a pick this year like you just don't keep up those numbers forever but look the fact that Carson Wentz has had success helps his cause as well I think he's going to be a first round pick and I think that's a realistic target for the Bears because I don't think they'll be drafting in the top five maybe he's more of a mid-round one guy the thing about Trubisky is if he has a good year you're not gonna trade him I don't think 
I don't think the Bears are going to tag him. They're going to have to make some kind of decision after this season, but I don't think trading him is realistic because if you want to trade him, that probably means he wasn't very good, and that probably means he doesn't have much trade value. Will the Bears draft a quarterback in the first round of next year's draft? If you think so, type 1 for yes. If you don't, type 2 for no. Go ahead and predict down in the comments section. The deal of the day, I mentioned we want to get to 10,000 subs by July 4th. That's because Independence Day right around the corner. Hey, if you are a believer in Trubisky and you want this red, white, and blue Trubisky bear shirt, go to chatsports.com slash bears fourth. We got general bears, red, white, and blue stuff as well. Short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts, lots of different styles available for you guys. Some of these shirts are on sale as well. Go check it out before it's too late. Chatsports.com slash bears fourth. We're closing in on July 4th. Celebrate properly represent the bears by going to chatsports.com slash bears fourth i'll put that link in the comments and in the description kavon puri bigger impact tayshawn gibson or robert quinn that's a good question i'm gonna go robert quinn because a big reason the bears defense took a step back last year is the pass rush wasn't there the the, the sack numbers declined tremendously from 50 sacks in 2018 to far less last year. And I think that's because there wasn't a secondary pass rusher to help out Khalil Mack. So teams just double and triple teamed him and he only had eight and a half sacks. Robert Quinn is the ideal number two pass rusher. Dallas signed him to pair with Demarcus Lawrence and he had 11 and a half sacks. Very similar situation in Chicago. I don't know if he'll have 10 plus this year but I think he'll have seven, eight, nine, maybe 10 sacks, and he should free up more opportunities for Khalil Mack because they have a, teams have another player they have to focus on. I think Tayshawn Gibson will be a nice player. If he can give you similar production to what you got out of HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix last year, you're, you're fine with that because you have Eddie Jackson, who's an elite safety. You don't need Gibson to be, you know, elite Pro Bowl level safety he was in 2017 with the Jacksonville Jaguars as a part of that really good defense. Just be above average, and, the, and, and you're fine back there. But it's about getting after the quarterback, and I think Robert Quinn can help you do that. But I'll leave it to you guys. Who do you think will have the bigger impact in 2020? You think it'll be Robert Quinn? Type Q. If you think it's going to be Tayshawn Gibson? Go ahead and type G. Like I said, I'm going to type my Q for Robert Quinn. Carrick Brennan is next up here. If we do tank, they're not going to. And Ryan Pace gets fired. Who do you think would be a good replacement at general manager? Can you do a short video that talks about some possible replacements? Um, Let's just talk about Pace for a sec first. Uh, if they don't make the playoffs, I think he's gone. So I think you're onto something there. Obviously, they're not going to tank. I, I, I think uh, sports fans have this idea that, uh, you know, a lot of teams and over a variety of sports tank. It really only happens in the NBA, and it doesn't happen nearly as often in the NBA as we all like to talk about. Like, very few cases have teams actively tank, like the Philadelphia 76ers, and it never happens in the NFL. I can't think of a single example. Um, possible replacements? First call I would make is Lou. Lewis Riddick. He's got a relationship uh, with the Bears' ownership. Uh, he he has a relationship with several Bear, current Bears players. I know that to be a fact. He's high on a lot of uh, NFL circles when it comes to kind of the next GM. He's obviously an analyst for ESPN right now, but he's been a pro scout. He's been a director of player personnel uh, in the NFL before. So I think that's a guy I would call. If you want me to do a video like this, or if you don't want to miss – our different variety of videos, again, I encourage you to subscribe. Uh, we're doing videos almost every single day. I keep asking the bosses to do a daily video, but we, do, we just don't have quite enough subscribers. We're growing, but we have other channels that are growing a little bit faster. So help us prove to the bosses that the Bears have the best fans out there by subscribing. We've got videos going up all the time, but I would like to do a little bit more than we're already doing. Help me out. Hit that big red subscribe button. William Wilson here. I still think the Bears need to address inside linebacker depth and strong safety over anything else on the defense. What about you? What do I think? Well, let's look at the depth charts of those two groups first. Uh, I have mentioned a few times, kind of verbally, haven't dug super deep into it, but there is depth concerns at inside linebacker behind Trevathan and Smith. Look, those two guys are great, but if one of them goes down, you're not feeling great about the guys behind them. So a depth in, inside linebacker signing, I would certainly sign up for that. Someone cheap, I have no problem with that. Uh, you're not going to invest in a starter type of player because you don't need one. But strong safety, on the other hand, look, you brought in Tayshawn Gibson, who's not really a strong safety, 
but he's going to play that spot. I don't think Deion Bush is going to start over him. I think he's a nice third safety in the NFL. Jordan Lucas is a good uh, depth player as well, coming over from Kansas City. So I actually think you're okay there, unless the Bears want to flirt – you know, with a Jamal Adams trade or something like that. I don't think they're going to go that route. There's not a lot of high-level strong safety still on the market. Maybe a Tony Jefferson, but why why sign him when you've already signed Tayshawn Gibson? Like, haha, Clinton Dix wasn't a national natural strong safety, and it worked fine last year. So I don't think they'll go in that direction. To me, you still need more help on offense, especially on your offensive line. So that is an area I would focus on. What would you focus on, though? Name a free agent the Bears should sign. For me, it's still Larry Warford. I would see what his market is. You know, the reports when the Saints let him go was about $7 million per year is what he wants. Has that number declined? $5 million now? Five and a half? If you can get him at that number, that is a good value for a right guard who would be a clear upgrade. Scan Woods here. Do you think that cap would be an improvement or good, cheap competition? Neither, actually. I don't think you would be bringing in Colin Kaepernick to compete for your starting job. And that's why I don't really think the Bears make a lot of sense because they have Trubisky and Foles. At best, Colin Kaepernick is in that same realm, but why would you make it a three-quarterback competition? That, that just doesn't really have a lot of logic to it at the end of the day. I don't really think the, the, you know, the Bears make sense for Cap. I think a team that makes sense for Cap is a team that has a clear starter but not a clear-cut backup. Like need, needs an upgrade at the backup quarterback position. Bears aren't that. Maybe the Bears don't have a top-flight starter in Trubisky or Foles, but the backup spot is fine because whoever doesn't start is going to be a quality backup. So I don't think Cap makes sense. Maybe he'll get a shot somewhere else. I don't think Chicago is really the fit, though, for Colin Kaepernick. Something I do agree with, though, and something I encourage you guys to do is get this 4th of July stuff while it's available. We're closing in on Independence Day. Chatsports.com slash Bears 4th. we got the light blue ones, the navy ones, the red, white, and blue theme. It's very patriotic. Go ahead and shop today. The link is in the comments and in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.